talk about spiritual hierarchy, shall we? <laughs> and I don't know, it's kind of in a conclusion that I realized of how my belief set is. Please take a note, this is just my belief set. I don't know, maybe you agree, maybe you disagree. You can comment down below, that is more than fine, but again, just my opinion, find your own. Use part of my opinion as your opinion, mold it all together to get other opinions, all of that. You know, grain of salt, all that stuff, disclaimers, yes. But, spiritual hierarchy. And I think one of the things that I love about a lot of things in paganism and I guess witchcraft or like alternative spiritual paths in general, it, like I've said before, is the customization of this stuff and how important it is for us to find our own personal power and all of that. It, it's so important and I love that it, that's held as important and it's something to constantly talk about, whereas I definitely felt when I'm talking to other people from different faiths. Um, I have a lot of Christian relatives, I have some uh, relatives who follow Islam, some Jewish relatives, etc. and so forth. And sometimes when I find the more quote-unquote devout of any of those religions, and I'm talking to them, uh, relatives of mine, then there is like this weird hierarchy thing, right, that happens in spirituality in religions where the like the idea of like there's the priest who is better than us there is the nuns who are better than us they are more devout they are better there's the idea that the, the Jesus Christ is better than us like he is of God he saved us from our sins all of that and that has always turned me off in such a huge way I am not even kind of a little bit eh about that like I'm just like no the priest is not better than me, and like there's plenty of priests who have not been better than me, so just because you are a priest or a nun or all of that does not mean you have any sort of better spiritual linking or whatever. And so many times I've seen in different religious books when we've discussed about things, and I've, I've realized as I've discussed with different people, they talk about the Torah or the Bible or uh, I think in Islam, I haven't read uh, the Quran. So again, don't quote me on anything, but like in my discussions with others, so again, it's very biased by their viewpoints and me just repeating viewpoints and stuff. But there always seems to be this this little bit in every single religion that talks about uh, feeling God, like we can all like hear the Holy Spirit or we can all tap into God's voice. Like there is always like a bit of like you are connected to your creator or to the universe in some sense or form. And if that connection exists, then why the hell do I need to go through somebody else to get the true word? See what I'm saying? Like, I understand, like, if you're like, listen, I'm getting this word and I'm confused. What did you hear? Do we, can we discuss and trade ideas? Like, yeah, that's great. Let's do that. But the fact that someone else's word of what they have heard, of what their interpretation is of a sacred divine thing is held up to a higher standard just doesn't make sense to me. Like, in any way, shape, or form. And I've realized this too when it comes to certain like things even in paganism when people are talking about like a priest and a priestess and you know high priest and priestess and like I understand the concept of honoring those people who are have been studying stuff longer than us right like yes you have you may know tarot cards better or runes better or you know certain histories or things like that because you've just been studying it longer you've been doing it longer your experience is not invalidated by any sense shape or form. But I don't think that their connection to the universe, to the divine, to the gods is any more than mine because of that experience, if that makes sense, right? Like that experience lets them know them and their connection better, but not necessarily feeds to my connection with the divine better. My connection to the divine, to whatever the hell is out there, whether that's just a giant energy ball or different deities or whoever it is, I don't really know. That stuff, that's still mine, like I am the authority on that, not anybody else. And there's some things where I think, people think, it's a lot of think, <laughs> but I, don't, I, I pick up a little bit of a vibe at certain times when people talk about gods, the universe, the divine, like there are these gurus or there are these um, people in, we hold up on a pedestal of spiritual knowledge that they, they seem to have some knowledge that we don't they seem to have some concept that we don't understand or couldn't possibly understand even not uh that if you studied enough or you looked into it enough you would find you know you would reach the same level of knowledge that i am instead it's a i would never reach your level of knowledge there's something special about you you have a talent a, a connection that i can't possibly understand and I don't know, it's my personal opinion, but honestly, I feel like that's bullshit. I feel like every single person 
has the ability to connect and gain the knowledge that everyone else does. I think we definitely have talents, we have leanings. Uh, I, there's a reason that I am drawn to certain aspects of the divine, certain magical tendencies. You know, I think there's a re- like my desire to be drawn towards candle magic, tarot, uh, dark things definitely leans just because I like it more. I naturally am going to inspect it more and possibly look into it more and therefore understand more about it than someone who says doesn't vibe well with any of those things and therefore keeps looking into it. Like, because I like it more, I just naturally will lean towards it more and look into it more. My talent or my inclination towards those things definitely feeds more to me learning more about it, to me understanding more about it because I will put the effort in just because I like to. I think that's something to check into. And even the idea of like, I don't know, talking to the gods and stuff. And if someone is, I guess, a, a strict polytheist, then it might seem odd the concept that like, who are you to have the gods talk to you type of deal. And in some respects, I feel like that's one thing that like, when I look back at olden paganism, like, you know, there were priests and priestess of certain Greek deities and there were um, people who like the druids uh, spoke to the gods and like there's different levels like even back then there seemed to always be this hierarchy uh, concept in old pagan ideas like this person is hearing the voices and we listen to the man who hears the voices because uh, I can't hear the voices and in our day and age I still I, I still feel like that's wrong <laughs> Like, I don't know, for me personally, that doesn't ring true at all, that that person has sacred knowledge or understanding that I can't possibly have. You have experience, right? I can't always understand your experience level till I get to your experience level. But the idea that only you can hear the gods, only you can tap into them, I think is... And, and there's no possible way for me to do that. I think it's not... No. I also think that it's not as... I don't know, tricky to do that. And I think that's kind of, like people think because it's rare, it's more important. Like that, that association puts, is put together in our minds, right? Like if it is hard to acquire, then therefore it is something to be put on a pedestal. It is something to aspire to. It is something that is say, more sacred because it is rare in some senses. And I don't agree with that concept. I think that there's a lot of everyday things that anyone can access that are very, very sacred. Simple as like the air that you freaking breathe in your lungs that whirls around you that gives us breath and life and moves all throughout is sacred. So, and I think we're all sacred. So there's, when it comes to a hierarchy concept of the fact that there are some people who can connect with the gods and no one else can. I think that's wrong. And I also think that the idea of connecting with the gods as something that is rare and random, I also think possibly could be wrong. Again, keep in mind all my opinion, all my thoughts and musings. You can disagree with me entirely, that's fine. This is just kind of how I've gotten to. Because like, I don't know, I feel like there are certain things that we all have been given. You know, the fact that so many of us dream, the fact that so many of us uh, daydream, have visions, have creativity, imagine things. I think that those things are sacred and a weird connection for a reason, whether it's connecting us with the uh, idea of creation because we're all connected to some source energy, or whether it is the fact that we all have some ability to get to the astral, or the fact that the divine, whether you think it's one divine, multiple divines, whatever else, God-wise, like I think we all can tap into it. I think the gods can speak to any of us whenever they, and if they are other body beings, then they can do whatever the hell they want. And they can connect to multiples of us all of the fucking time. They can appear as however the hell they want to. They can appear to multiple people all the time. And I think it's interesting that in some, some people still put that like, well, no, it's rare. It's, it's a random thing. It is something special. And I think it's special but not because it's rare. I think it's more that like anyone can connect with them. I used to war a lot thinking like, who the fuck was I to hear Persephone? Who the fuck was I to connect with Loki? Who the fuck was I to uh, connect with Sobek? I fought a lot of the signs that were being presented to me in mundane life, 
fact that fucking crocodiles seemed goddamn everywhere. I thought it was just because I was noticing them more than of course I would just notice them more, you know, like you see it once and you take notice of it and suddenly you're noticing it a lot more. Like, that's just a thing scientifically that happens, right? But I don't think that's all that it is. I think also when something hits you upside the head and you have to kind of keep being hit upside the head with something, that that matters. And I, I'm not the only person who's going to see that stuff. I'm not the only person who's going to suddenly say, hey, that weird flower over there, I keep seeing that. Uh, that symbol, that animal, that fruit, whatever the hell else that keeps appearing in nature, keeps appearing and seeing it. And I think noticing it as the sign that it is, and when shit appears in your dreams or in our meditations, I think our imagination is much more sacred than we give it credit for. And that everyone has the ability to tap into that stuff. It's an interesting concept to play with. And something else I like to play with, too, is, you know, I like to honor my deities. I like to, you know, I, I give thanks to the amount of shit that they teach me and the stuff that they unveil. Whether it is just an archetype of some version higher of myself is what they actually are, or whether they're actually deities speaking down to me from some higher place. I think even if they are these outside beings who are speaking to me, because I don't, if you're new to my channel, I don't have one prescription of belief. There's not one thing I solidly said, like, that is how it is. I have no fucking idea. <laughs> I will find out when I die. And maybe not even then. Maybe there's some sort of, like, and reincarnate, because I didn't figure something out in this version of reality. Who knows? But as I think about it, and what I possibly might be working with, belief-wise, I don't think that the gods if they do exist as separate things, are going to be forever higher than us. I think, if anything, it is kind of like this weird equal parent- like, the reason I think we lean towards them in so many ways is like parent-child relationships is one is a concept that we can understand. Because I think that the idea of us and the relationship to the divine is very much more complex than that. But also, I think that idea- because the whole point of a parent-child relationship is to eventually get that child to be as competent, if not more competent, than the parents. To get them to a point where they understand a lot more and can go on life independent of them with the same power and comprehension as the parent. And I wonder if that's what the gods are trying to do with us. Like, are they trying to raise all of us to be other gods? Are they all trying to say like, hey, come join us, we're trying to get y'all to level up here, come on. Like, do we have the possibility of leveling up to that idea of div divinity that we would have more abilities, uh, more concepts, more higher understandings than we ever had before? And do we all have that capability. It's not going to be a rare one person that does it. It might start off that way, but just because that person over there is doing the thing and no one else has ever done the thing before doesn't mean that everyone can't then do the thing, right? Like, some people might look at the great heroes of history or the great people in history and think like, oh my god, like the Wright brothers flew. They might be seen as divine or godlike for doing that once upon a time. But now how many fucking people get on a plane every damn day? You know, I, I wonder, will there come a point where all of us quote unquote wake up spiritually or uh, ascend to a higher com- comprehension of what the hell is happening and will we all be gods in a sense and is our creation as we're manipulating energy in this plane of existence and doing all this stuff are we in fact creating new consciousness and new life all the time and then when we get to that point we will also be learning but also wanting to teach you know i don't think you necessarily have to like have that linear idea of gaining all the information and then once you are the all-knowing person then you can spread your word to the others like i don't think that's a thing either right like i think it's important to remember that even the people who are the most knowledgeable are still learning they're still taking on things all the time and seeing new concepts and those new concepts can be taught by those that are higher than them and lower than them you know I think of all the times like a little kid has said something to me and it's like been fucking like groundbreaking. I'm like, God damn, that was some wisdom from a two year old's mouth. My goodness. And I think that's important to remember, especially when it comes 
to like hierarchies and spirituality whether it's the hierarchy of us to the gods or us to just someone else who has had more experience than us or even us to someone who has a higher spiritual title than us all of this stuff I think that the distance between all of those things is actually possibly a lot smaller than we might think is it all just a skill set to learn that we all can learn that we all can tap into the magic around us that all of us can tap into the energy of the universe all of us could possibly tap into divine forces and energies and our higher selves or you know whatever belief you prescribe to that i think every single person can do it that we don't need necessarily others to do it for us or to hear the gods through their lips or hear the divine through their interpretation of it there's not someone who will always know more than you and have a higher comprehension of everything for all time than you will. There are people who have had other experiences than you, people who have had possibly more experiences than you, who might be able to give you tips and tricks of how you could have those same experiences or how to tap into something greater. But you ultimately can experience as much as they have that is possible. I think at least. Anyway, comment down below. Does the hierarchy of the idea that there are people who reach more sacred things or the idea that uh, the gods are forever out of our reach, is that something you subscribe to? Is it something where you're like, yeah, no, we are forever their servants and we are just aiding them always? Are you of the belief more of like, no, it's all like energy and weirdness and if we all get reduced back to like base energy, then yeah, technically we all will reduce back to equality in some senses, um, or any other thoughts you've thought of as I've been on this wonderful hierarchy random ramble. And also remember, like, I'm included in that. Like, I'm still so freaking new on this journey, and even when I'm probably a hundred years into this thing, if I live that long in this lifetime, then I still will be, feel like I'm new and random in this journey. Because that's how this is. It's so many unanswered questions, and so many things that I, I know it's so fun to explore but again just remembering that even the person who has had so many experiences and seems to know everything to you that there's still so much that even they don't know and understanding that that gap may seem so freaking huge but you can close that distance with just a little bit of knowledge anyway I make new videos every Monday Wednesday and Friday I'll see you guys next time